Hello farmers, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's been a couple of days that I dropped a video. I'm back with another video. This is Etten Pond. We're just digging this pond and this size is 40 by 50. The length is 50 and the breadth here is just 40. The pond is still under construction, although it's taking much time because People are no longer working like before, so that is why the thing is delaying. But the work is gradually going. Is that the main reason why I'm making this video? Of course, you've been seeing a lot of videos concerning Etten Pond on our YouTube channel and outside the YouTube channel. And you've been learning much from it. And also, you might be thinking, is it only Etten Pond I deal with or only Etten Pond I know much about? Of course. When it comes to concrete, when it comes to tarpaulin, I'm very much good at them. And I never fail giving anyone the best idea when it comes to those two uh, ponds, including the one of bats. If you're using bats, the rubber basin to do your fish farming, I'm good in all those aspects. I know the difference between all these ponds and I know how it works. I know how they operate and I know how your fish and your business can bloom and how you can be successful in all this business when you are running both the etting pond, the tarpaulin, the concrete, or the one of bats. So I know everything. I have idea on everything. But what I deal with the most because I get the best result is the one of etting pond that you are seeing at my back here. So what's the purpose of making this video since you've been watching a lot of videos on Nadata Farm concerning this etting pond? So is there any new thing you still need to learn about this Ethan Pond? Of course, there are lots to be learned when it comes to Ethan Pond and we cannot finish everything at once. We keep on learning every day and we keep on dropping you videos every day. So don't forget, subscribe to Iduta Farm, stay on, turn on your notification bell and get notified whenever time we drop a new video for you. What is the first thing I'm going to tell you when it comes to digging Ethan Pond? This is three feet. Of course, there is water inside this pond because we just pump the water. It covers everywhere. We just pump the water now. A lot of us will dig these three feet and we'll be thinking the depth is enough, which is never enough. I told you that if you are going to get your water level for your fish farming, for, for instance, at least get up to three feet water level. Now in rainy season, this pond at this particular level will be filled up to the three feet that we dig. You are, get, you are getting my point. So, but when it get, gets to dry season, you can see, look at, if you see the, the downside of this dike, the, the wall of this pond, you can see that some areas are fresh, like they are wet tree. That is the level of the water at hand before we pump it out. So in dry season, your water will reduce up to this level, which means it won't be enough for you to raise or stock your fish. Your claras can manage inside, but your hybrid cannot manage inside the little level of water. So that is the reason why you have to dig your earthen pond more deeper so that you can obtain a good water level during rainy season and dry season that is number one about the depth i usually tell most of the people that uh, send me the pictures of their pond i do complain that it's not deep enough it's not this it's not that so that is the first thing to note when it comes to digging a tin pond two i have had issues with uh, so many constructors yeah the people that digs these are Ethan Pond, you know, a lot of them will come to me. Even yesterday, I still have a complaint from one of my person that uh, is into this business. He said, yes, the dig pond like this for someone. And, and at the end of the day, the person said they should pack this thing. All the sand you are seeing here, look at it, around the pond. You can see the sand. So he said they should pack all the loot and throw them away so that the pond can be free so that everything can be neat. I remember when I went to Lagos, I had an issue like this too. After the person dug his earthen pond, he told the people that they should pack all the sand and they did. When I got there and I needed sand to do the sandbag, I couldn't get again. Although that is not the most important things when it comes to 
parking the sand or not parking the sand i'm still coming i know you're going to get my point here so they parked the sand so we couldn't get any more sand to use for the sandbag so we have to dig more of the pond although the pond wasn't deep enough but we have to dig the pond more and get sand to do the sandbag so at the end of the day they still needed sand for something important which i'm going to tell you why you should not tamper with this sand its place in lagos is already concrete it's just it's a kind of uh they have do the german floor you know they have prepared it for um house constructions but at the end of the day he decided to turn it to a uh, fish pond so i told him to mold block round about it just to avoid erosion of which he did now this person that now told my people that they should pack the sound so i was just i was just laughing yesterday when he was telling me that that how, how possible is that even if they want to pack this thing you know the amount of money that will pack this thing and if if they are to pack it it is all these truck people that will come and pack it not the people that help you to dig where, where should they pack it to it's not possible that is the reason why if you have land and you want to uh you want to dig your eating pond know how you manage the land if the land will be suitable for just two ponds please construct two ponds if it is going to take three ponds do three ponds don't go and do four ponds and be telling people to pack the sand it's not even possible and it is not even good enough now this sand now it has a very crucial rules it's playing and the life shall i say life yes of this pond it has a crucial rule it's playing and what is the rule the rule is what i told you earlier it is to protect erosion from entering into this pond for instance now this land now there are this place i'm pointing to there's the water that usually come from up there so if this water now come and they pack the whole of this sand if the water is now coming from outside it's an erosion a very big one and it comes instead of hitting this wall and find its own way it will come straight into the pond and flush your fish away there is nothing to defend the pond and this sand you are packing out is meant to defend this pond so by the time you now pack everything away what will not defend erosion when you are having erosion especially when you are having a thin pond like this dog close to the river here is a stream there is a river close to this place a very small river close to this place but it's a mighty one when it started raining and we are having much of the water water comes from up here jam this one another one comes from another side they jam and this one comes straight so like three sources of water meet together at this particular point now if we pack this sand away what do you expect of the fish that are inside the pond to go so that is the reason why i'm telling you that don't pack the sand of your pond whenever time you dig your pond rather tell them to flatten the top so that it can balance there is a way they know how to do it they will level it all together and everything will balance it will be workable then if your pond needs sandbag you do the sandbag if it doesn't need like if it is solid soil leave it you are not doing sandbag to beautify the pond or do sandbag beautify the pond like i always tell people but you are not doing it to beautify the pond you are doing it to defend this wall from falling look at my back here you can see there's a place collapsing there so you are doing it to defend the wall from falling from coming down not to beautify the pond so if your own type of soil is a soil that can easily break like this sanding soil please try and do sandbag then defend your wall from falling so that is all i want to tell you from this video yes of course a lot of people have been calling me oh simeon you're trying you're doing a great job you are doing this you're doing that i appreciate all of you for all the comments and everything and i'm happy to bring you more of it and to teach you to tell you a lot of things when it comes to catfish farming although i'm good at other aspects when it comes to pigs you know um chicken and lots more but this is the one i'm good at like very very good at and i don't like misleading people when i tell you i can't do this believe me i can't do it and if you have reached out to me and i haven't provided any solution or haven't attended to you it might be that i have not gotten what you want or i have not get the definite things that will help you out or maybe 
what you need is not within my reach i'm still trying to get it from a reliable source that is why it is not yet working out you can just keep on reminding me by god's grace everything will be settled and we just finalize on everything and you are going to find the solution or get whatever things you want from me i want all of you to believe that those who have been reaching out to me for one day or the other you are making a business with a reliable person all we just have to do is to discuss business then i need your trust and i'll help you out in whatever things you want me to do for you so i believe you still gain from this video again and i pray that you are still going to benefit more from this youtube channel so you just keep on subscribing and uh, don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to reach out to me with my number my name is simeon o james one of your youngest fish farmer in nigeria so thank you so much for watching the video i appreciate you all